in this question integral 0 to 1 log x upon square root of 1 minus x square into dx is what let x equal to sin theta then when x equal to 0 theta equal to 0 and when x equal to 1 theta equal to pi by 2 therefore we can write the given integral is equal to i equal to 0 to pi by 2 log sin theta upon 1 minus cos square sin square theta is cos square theta so cos theta into dx is dx equal to cos theta into d theta cos theta into d theta equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 log sin theta into d theta therefore we can write i equal to sin theta into d theta now using the relation integral 0 to a f of x into dx equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x into dx using this equation i is equal to 0 to pi by 2 log cos theta d theta now adding these two equations we get 2i equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 log sin theta cos theta into d theta equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 log 2 sin theta cos theta by 2 d theta this is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 log sin 2 theta minus log 2 into d theta this is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 log sin 2 theta minus integral 0 to pi by 2 log 2 d theta this is d theta this is equal to this integral can be written as setting 2 theta equal to y we get 2 into d, d, d theta equal to dy and we can write 0 to pi log sin y d theta equal to dy by d2 so we can write dy upon d2 minus integral 0 to pi by 2 log 2 d theta this is equal to half 0 to pi log sin y dy minus log 2 into theta from 0 to pi by 2 this is equal to half into integral 0 to pi by 2 log sin y into dy plus half into integral pi by 2 to pi log sin y into dy minus pi by 2 log 2 this is equal to half into integral 0 to pi by 2 log sin y into dy plus half into integral 
0 to pi by 2. Here we put z z plus pi by 2 equal to y. So when y is equal to pi by 2, z equal to 0 and when y is equal to pi, z equal to pi by 2. So we can write log sine z plus pi by 2 is cos z into d z minus pi by 2 log 2. This is equal to half into integral 0 to pi by 2 log sine y into dy plus half into integral 0 to pi by 2. Here we can here we can use this equation integral 0 to a f of x into dx equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x into dx. Using this equation, this, this integral becomes log sine z into dz minus pi by 2 into log 2. This is equal to half into these two integrals are same. These two integrals are same. So we can write 2 into integral 0 to pi by 2 log sine y into dy minus pi by 2 log 2. This is equal to 1 into this integral is nothing but i. i therefore 2i is equal to minus pi by 2 log 2 therefore i is equal to i is equal to minus pi by 2 log 2 that is our answer I value value J is come yeah.